Go for it. Um, first of all, I want to get your take. I know you guys were struggling early. Do you think this team's really sort of backward? Needs to be facing a good opponent now coming in Wednesday? Um, we get there. I feel we get there. You know, we're still working. You know, um, Detroit was a good game for us to really show how we can play a full game. You know, so we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Talk about Michigan State, you know, what do you see as, as their biggest maybe problem area, that, you know, an area that could cause problems for you guys that they do? Uh, are we, 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 we really haven't started watching them yet. I think it's going to be the first day I was watching them, but um, I'm just watching them on TV. I can see they can shoot the ball real well, and I see they got um, guards who love to crash the boys right now. That's just me watching, personally. And are you playing as well as you want right now? I mean, is it something uh, you want to do it's, it's, it's still going to come to me. I'm not, I mean, it's, it's going to come to me, you know, I mean, I can do more. I feel like far as contributing more, far as rebounding more, stuff like that. So it's gonna come to them. What's what's the issue in your mind? That where you're not to where you need to be? I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Just teams, teams are teams are pretty good right now. You know, I mean, um, Detroit had a, had a good plan far as front side and back side help. You know, so they front me had a guy behind me. You know, so um, teams just teams just um, scouting well. So you got the team to um, fight through that. What do you mean to have a team like Michigan State come down here to play? A home game here against oh, it's them. big team. I mean, it's, it's big time. You know, they're a top, 20, a top 20 opponent. You know, if we can um, get those guys, that'll be big for us to help out um, RBI come come March and everything. So hopefully we can get those guys and it elevate our schedule. Uh, Derek Nix is, uh, I think, 6'9", 270. So he's not quite as big as you. But yeah. how often have you faced in your entire basketball career guys that are almost your size? Um... I can't I, I can't remember right now, but um, he 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 sounds sound like a big guy. Yeah, he's a big you know, dude. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun matchup. I, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he can play. You know, so it's gonna be a fun matchup. Reggie, how do you feel being back? And are you still do you still have lingering issues? No, nah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I, f I feel good being back. I'm glad the whole team is here. I'm glad the Ram was able to play. You know, so I feel like um, now that our team is really here, we can we can really get it going. Because one big and that was good for you guys. Yeah. The rebounding margin was also big. Right. I mean, how important is that just continuing to, to rebound? Oh, I mean, that, that's me and Kenny thing and Julian. I mean, I challenge him. I mean, we, we have competition among ourselves of who can get the most rebounds, you know, and I, I figured out that that's a way to get Kenny to really want to go rebound by doing the many competition between ourselves. You know, the co coaches don't know that. That's just me and what Kenny do. I bet I have more rebounds than you, and, and that makes him go hard for more rebounds on both ends. So that's a big one. You talked in the preseason about him last year. Yeah. Is this different? You guys didn't it, have it's this different. Last year? I mean, it's different. You know, um, last year, last year, Kenny, he rebounded, but this year, he making a, a strong emphasis to get in there. I think for the last couple of games, he's been leading the team and rebound, you know, so I'm happy with that, you know. But, um, I mean, Kenny definitely wanted to rebound this year, so that, that's big for us. At this point of the season, with them being in that conference team, do you, do you put much emphasis on like scouting them, what they're doing, or you just guys more concerned with just what you're doing? Nah, we got to scout. Okay, so, okay, so. Got, they're, they're, they're a top 20 team, man. We, 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 we don't scout those guys, man. They come in and embarrass us, man. I, ain't, I don't want that, you know. But um, Tom Izzo, <laughs> that, that, that well, long, that I was long say, right They banged up a little bit. Last mm -hmm. couple of games have had a lot of turnovers, not mm -hmm. playing maybe as well as they're going to play. But mm -hmm. with Izzo, you just know the reputation. I'm so. reputation, man. They're going to be ready to play. They're definitely going to be ready to play, you know. Um, so we got to. I don't know who hurt. Like I said, we haven't watched them. We haven't even scouted yet. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a good game regardless of who hurt and who's not hurt. Are you concerned that there actually be more? I mean, is a they've had like 20 turnovers per game the last couple mm -hmm. games, and he's pretty pissed at them. So yeah. he might change lineups, and uh, he's been. You think that'll make them more? It's, 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 maybe? it's definitely going to make them be, come out ready to play and be more focused. That's, that always happens after a loss or, or a loss or a turnovers. Coach, coaches put emphasis on what you did back in the last game. And so mm -hmm. they're definitely going to come in more focused and taking care of the ball. So it's going to be enough to still pressure those guys and, and try, try to force turnovers. How much better has practice been? I know at the beginning of the year, coach yeah. was really upset about that. Yeah. Uh, it's been better because I feel like it's, it's more competitive. But I, like I said, coach can't make us, he can put us through. All the drills, all the rebounding drills, it's on us at the end of the day to go out there and do that. But I think practice has definitely been better as far as competition-wise. Coach Ellis said that you guys were maybe laid back as a team. Yeah. I don't think you meant that as a compliment. I mean, yeah, I mean, is there a way to change a team personality like that? Because you guys, you know, I don't mean, want to be too laid back, is it? <laughs> I mean, you got laid back guys in all in aspects of the world. NBA, you got laid back guys. So, I mean, that's that's an opinion that he's entitled to. Everyone's entitled to opinion. I mean, we do got guys that's laid back, you know, but... Guys, guys, see the lights come on, they're ready to play. So, I mean, we can't be a laid-back team, but you got guys, you got NBA teams that are laid-back or whatnot. So, I guess that is what it is when it comes to that. 
just a game that you had scheduled in your mind before the season? What? This Michigan State, was this one that you had in mind? What's your first what? Just being excited to play. I mean, definitely. I mean, we can we can represent our conference. You know, it's ACC Big Ten Challenge. You know, we can represent our conference and and, and, and try to prove that our conference is still the best conference in basketball. You know, so um, it, it's going to be a big game for us regardless because it's Michigan State. And like I said, they're a top 20 team. You know, so we like I said, we can get those guys. Our RPI goes up even more. Do you look at this as a, a win you need maybe even more because of the loss you had earlier this year? That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, it it definitely help us. It definitely help us. But I, I think if we do we got the ACC, even with that loss, I think we we still can we still can get in the tournament with um, ACC if we if we come and do that real well. So hopefully. I miss the very you know, you talked about it, but what did, what did having Duran back mean to your team? It mean it mean a lot. You know, he he's a he's a four year guy. You know, um, he's he's experienced. He know to expect. He came out and got 15 points, I believe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. That right there helped us out a lot. You know, 15 points was, was, was big for us in that game. Aside from the points, it seemed that the team played more I don't know, intense, uh, yeah. coordinated defense when he was it on the court. He was, I mean, he, was, he seemed like he was screaming out calls. and yeah, I mean, seemed that, that wasn't just the round thing. The team just wanted to do that. You know, that, that's what that's what Coach okay. has been really barking on, harping on, as far as making sure he'd be making us do talking drills and practice and everything. So I, that was just, I think that was a team coming together and just really okay. wanted to do that. And adding Durant really helped us out even more with that, I guess. What are you doing, talking drills? I'm like, um, he, he puts he puts a big guy in charge. Like he, he has the green on the baseline. He puts a big guy in the guard in charge. As far as telling Reggie, you got to tell King and Jules who they got while they're running back, and Durant, you got to tell Shane and whoever who mm-hmm. they got while they're running back. So that right there helps us out a lot. Mm-hmm. Just make us more aware and um, talk more. You think you guys are a little too quiet on the court? No, I would, I'm not, and I mean, guys talk, I mean, maybe it's where you guys can't hear it, but guys talk to each other, scream, whatever, but mm-hmm. I don't think so. It was just the uh, the attendance in the last game made it a lot easier to, to hear. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's every game almost, but yeah, um, definitely, the attendance in the last game made it a lot easier to hear us talking, I guess. Do you think this Michigan State game will draw more fans? I would hope so. I mean, it's prime time. It's uh, ESPN, you know. I would hope so. If not, then I, I don't know what to say, but I, I definitely hope so. But even even though I know uh, finals and finals and, and tests going to come up next week, people are studying, so I understand that too, but I, I still hope they come out. You hear a buzz at all on campus? People talk about it? I really, I'm, I'm not on campus right now. I'm, 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 I'm in class and to the gym, so I'm really, I'm really not on campus to really hear a buzz about anything. Every game's on TV now, but when it's on ESPN, you guys are a little more juiced? I hope our fans a little bit more juice, you know. I mean, forget us. I hope our fans come out there and, 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 and give us that edge to to wanna that that, that home crowd, you know. Um, but it's me and games are always big games, you know. A game is a game, but it's still like I said, if, if I don't care we was playing with no camera, it's still a top twenty team. Right. You know, so we definitely gotta come out and play well and, and wanna do well. Thanks a lot. Right, thanks a lot, Reggie.